Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I'm not even dressed yet, but I have a miracle to share with you guys. Every morning I come out and I eat breakfast in the farmyard. I sit over there at that barn on the step and I watch all the animals come out and start their day and it's amazing. Writing down things for a video that I wanna make about all the things that I wish that we had done differently when we moved here. We've lived here long enough now that we know what we love and we know what we don't love. And you guys, we love so much. So I was in the tech room and I was looking around at all the things that we have stored and I was thinking how much I love this shelf. It may look messy, but it's completely organized to me. I love the baskets that we have on there. I love the space that we have. It holds so many things like my sun hat. This is all of our lotions and, and whatever. But anyway, that's not the point of this miracle. So we, I love that we have this here. It's like, Everything that we need to have right at hand is all here and I love that. One thing I hate is where our first aid kit is because it is hard to reach, hard to get to, and lately I've been using this sucker a lot. So I was thinking about how I could do, how I could have done that differently. And then I was thinking like, hey, I should use this. I should utilize this. I should like make this prettier. It's, it's ugly and it squeaks, it needs to be oiled, but it sits so conveniently right adjacent to our barn. Imagine all of our first aid supplies stored nicely in this cabinet. It's so much bigger than the thing that I have over there. So then, I started looking at it to try and see if I could figure out like what I could do for it. Like it's metal, I could clearly paint this thing. So I'm gonna stop the story right there where I said I could paint this thing. Do you guys remember recently in a recent video, I said that there was a blackboard in the barn, in the other barn that I wanted to paint. And I'm pretty sure I have blackboard paint. Well, I looked and I don't, I don't know what we did with it, but it's gone, it's empty. We don't have any more left. So fast forward to today and I said, I think I could paint this thing. So I open the doors and I start cleaning it out and it is like gross, it needs to be painted. There's not enough washing that could make this look pretty and I think I could make it look pretty. I, I could actually be creative. So I'm starting to clean it out. So when I get down to the fourth shelf, I find paint and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? There's chalkboard paint in here. I know it. I knew it the minute that I saw the paint and the reason I knew it because I keep talking about all these miracles in this house. Every time I say that I want something or I wish I had this or I, I need this, it just shows up randomly on this farm. It is the weirdest thing. So I pull them out and this is a multi-purpose adhesive chain bond I don't know chem bond um, and then I pull this one out this one's on the bottom and lo and behold it is chalkboard paint so <laughs> Sophie and I are gonna do that today and I might even paint the shelves in here black actually I might even paint the doors of this thing black so we can write things on here I don't know it was a miracle it's exciting I can't believe I can't believe how many times this has happened to us it's like God is trying to send us a message to say, this is where you belong. And I am getting his message loud and clear. So now I'm gonna go in and get dressed for the day because <laughs> we had a busy day. I wish I had millions of dollars. I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it out there into the universe. I wish I had millions of dollars. Okay? Oh, hi, handsome. Come for a visit? Is Sophie out there getting honey? Rub your head up and down once if it's yes. <laughs> or drink water if it's no. Storm's just like, I'll see you after <laughs> I noticed Storm beat you here. I'm assuming he went running. Huh? I noticed Storm beat you here. I assume he went running. I'm not going to run up the hill in this heat. I know it's hot. I noticed Mama came with you. So Sophie just gave it away. Penny's coming too. She's like, why? Why do you have to bring everybody out of the field when I'm eating? It's not my fault they love each other. <laughs> it's not my fault. Penny doesn't even like any of them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <He does. laughs> She's like, yes, I do. Don't talk to me, rude. <laughs> so today, um, you guys know Honey loves the water. She has 
uh, shower all the time. Sophie showers her and she is obsessed with it. She plays in the water. Every time Miss Sam fills the water trough, Honey is the first one there and she's splashing the water and trying to get the water all over the place. And Storm does that too. And Storm loves water. We know that because we have lots of videos on our channel of when we took them swimming. Every time the Japanese hear us, they come running. Right I know. So uh, the only horse on our farm that's never gone swimming is Miss Honey. So today, we're going to figure out where we're going to take her. And we're going to take her to the water. To She's the water somewhere. In the trailer, and that's here. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, well, anyway, she is such a good little horse. We're going to try and find some water today and see if how she likes the water. Do you think she needs a ramp? We definitely need a tarp. Ruby, help. So, we're going to see how well she does climbing up into the van. No, I know there's hay in there. <laughs> there's hay from last year. I'll just have a snack. Don't eat that. <laughs> yeah. You think you can get up there, little pony? like, ooh, a new one. Put Ellie up there, she'll sure get up. <laughs> She's like, what's that? Ellie. Good girl. Yeah. Amazing. This. She's like, I want to go all the way. She actually in. does. She's just doing it herself. I can't go in there. You might have to climb in. And then pull her towards you. Hi, princess. <laughs> this pony seriously has never had a bad experience. And I don't know if that's it or if it's just breeding and personality. Okay. But this pony literally is up for anything. So we got Honey when she was eight months old. And this is how we brought her home. We brought her home in this, in the back of this van. She was a lot smaller then. Everybody wants to come. All the dogs are jumping in. Oh, look, she sees you and she's already trying. Come on, Hans. Come on. Gotta fix your foot. Mm -hmm. Gotta fix your foot. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the? <laughs> I turned the camera off because we we're going to wait. Like, the oh slow way is the, is the best way. So and I'm like, we'll just wait for her. I turned the camera off and literally she hops up with two feet at the same time and then just jumps in. Good girl, you should have brought treats for that. She just jumped right in, Sam. She's like, yeah, I'll go. This will be fun. Go look at Molly. She's about to pee her pants. Yeah, Molly's like, this has never been my experience. Look at Ruby. She's sitting in the front seat like she's me. What a good pony. She's so happy. To I, can't, I can't believe I turned the camera off thinking, okay, it's going to be a while. Horses don't just jump up into strange This one does. Cars. But she does. So calm. She's just like, yeah, where are we going? Ellie's like, I'm coming. Alright, are you gonna try and get her out? She doesn't want to. <laughs> so that is another thing about this baby is that we got her when she was young. And it really helped this us. Kind of making her travel every time now. Yeah. It literally was enabled them to solidify this incredible bond she thinks of sophie i think as her first mom and she they she grew up with sophie so i mean she's only a year and a half now but she doesn't even touch the roof but she literally trusts sophie with her whole entire life she'll go anywhere sophie says let's go and it has been such a beautiful thing to see a lot of people, I know I keep saying this, but a lot of people said Sophie's going to ruin this pony. People said she was going to kill this pony. Yeah, you're so ruined. She's like, can I have more treats, please? But really, this pony is so trusting. Oh, he's terrified. And so caring. Molly is not so sure. I think Molly. Can Molly, you can get out. Me. Come on. You can Molly, get out. Go on out. Molly, Do you want to come out? <laughs> She's like, mm, I'm not sure. It may be that this pony does like to chase the she dogs in the field. On the seat if she I think here, like people say, no, 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 She's no, no, no. with you the toys. Out. All right, let's get her out. You could literally Honey. turn her around. Uh oh, she's moving Honey. forward. Here, Honey. you could literally turn her around, and then she could just jump down. Go out. She's like, I don't want to go out. <laughs> okay, now go slow. Just, just, 
good girl. What a good pony. Here, give her more treats. What a good girl you are. All right, so I'm gonna go do a quick project and your job is to find some garbage bags or something to put underneath and then something to put on top. For what? To protect the, the floor. Of course, everyone's unhappy that honey is missing. I honestly don't think you guys fully understand the mystery that surrounds this farm and how everything I want just shows up. How did you get wet? Where were you swimming? So it started, this whole thing started just before we moved. Uh, I had a bag of diatomaceous earth. If you don't know what that is, it's something that a lot of farmers or people with livestock use to help keep parasite control in certain animals. It can even be used in horses, but I used it a lot with our chickens. I made dust baths with it. And my bag was half open and I was like, eh, I'm just gonna toss it. I'm not gonna need it. And so I tossed it. And then as soon after we moved, soon after we moved, we ended up getting goats. And I wanted to have something as a preventative, something to like keep the parasite, con parasite level down without using harsh wormers because they can become resistant. And I was like, oh man, I wish I had that bag of diatomaceous earth. Like I knew I would regret throwing it out. What a dummy I was. So literally the same day, just a few hours later, I went into one of the barns, this old barn, and almost laying at my feet was this brand new bag of diatomaceous earth. And I was like, oh, thank you God. <laughs> I think that was the first time it happened. And then after that, it's just been time after time after time that it just keeps happening. Another day soon after the ducks moved down here and the goose moved to this little stall here, I was thinking, man, they are so stinky. They make a huge mess of the water that I put in there. I put it, you, with ducks and geese, you have to have a big container of water. They have to be able to duck their whole entire beak and head into whatever water container you have so that they can clean everything off. And they need that for their health. So they make so much mess with it. They splash around with it and it gets stinky. So I started researching things that I could use and I read about lime, which I already knew about lime. We've never tried it, but I've always wanted to try it. We were introduced to it at a previous barn we were at and I love that stuff. So I said to Sam, I'm gonna get a bag of lime and put it underneath the shavings and see if that does anything like with the goat and the, or with the duck and the goose. And I'm sure he didn't listen to me like he never does, but I put it on my list. And then later that day, I had already been into this barn so many millions of times, a completely different area from where I got the diatomaceous earth, but I came in this barn and found this huge bag of lime. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, but it is a plan of mine. I'm just still need to research a few things. I'm worried that it will like burn if they get it on them, but I definitely want to try it. So that was like the second thing. One day I said I wanted a bench and poof, there was a bench. I found a bench, literally fell over a bench, put it in the barn. And then there was another day where we were enjoying our pear tree. And I said, I wish we had an apple tree. The next day, Sam finds an apple tree on the property. Like it's not just tiny little things that you buy. It's like, God made trees that we're finding. Like, I don't know. It's just the weirdest, most magical thing ever. In a recent video, I said, welcome to Narnia about this property. And I honestly believe that this is an enchanted farm. All right, there it is. I don't know if I'll have to add another coat or and hopefully it dries, not shiny. <laughs> um, I think like, oh yeah, it's drying, not shiny down here. Anyway, it's exciting. I love just doing little things like this. It's making me want to paint everything in here. Not the wood. Come on, mister, you gotta go outside. Come on, out you go. <laughs> Do you wanna go out? <laughs> I love the wood, but I like to paint like these shelves. And the doors have already been painted. And actually I'd like to scrape them down and then just seal them because I love the color of them. All right, try number two. I already got her going again. Did you Bring try? Her right up. Try number three. Oh, sorry. This time maybe I'll catch what she does. She's still. Should we bring a little hay bag in here though? No. A little pile of hay. Should we bring a poop fork? Come in. Come in. Come on. She looks 
so confusing. Good girl! I want to bring like a little bucket that I can clean up after her, obviously. And a fork. We found this little hidden gem and <laughs> she's maybe not loving it. Show her, put your hand in the water and I told Sophie she should wear a bathing suit, but she didn't. And she's like, Mama, save me! Come on. She really doesn't understand. And now she hears it, she's like, oh, it's water! I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you She loves it. She's she's interested. I'm proud of you. Me? Yeah. You're doing really good. Oh, you're, you're starting to swim. <laughs> she swam. Hold on, Hans. Come over here. Oh, 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 oh. How do you think she did? She did good. She did actually really well. We're super proud of her. And we're gonna come back. We'll bring the dogs here. This is like the best off. We should go through that trail. This is the best hidden spot I've seen. It is just so beautiful. Can we go through the trail to dry off? And there's lots of places to get down in the water. Big rocks to help you and that you can even sit on and then it gets deeper. Definitely amazing. Love, I can't believe we found this spot. It's just shocking to me. All right, little Minnie, are you ready to go back and see your family? Because they're probably all in the barn screaming. Actually, are they are all still in the barn waiting for her. I checked the camera. Poop before we get in the car. Yeah, poop now. <laughs> Let's see if she goes up again. In the past, I've seen, like with my horse, she'll go places and then she, and then she won't go home. But not this pony. She does whatever Sophie asks.
Definitely a win-win. We didn't have to drive very far. She got to experience water for the first time. She got to experience going in the car for the first time. Those are all stepping stones to the things that she really, Sophie really wants to do with Honey. She wants to be able to, like I said, do preschools and do so many things with her. And this is and like the beginning. Willow. Yeah, and with Willow. Could have brought Willow. Willow's used to water. She likes it, but Willow's heavier to go in the van. But super fun. Such a good pony. You are such a good baby. Have some treats. <laughs> She's like, wow, I had fun. She can't fit that much in her mouth. Oh, the horse has left and somebody storm left a fly mask. Yeah. I washed the fly mask Don't last roll. night too. Look, only one here <gasps> to greet us. Hi. <laughs> Hi, babies. The hawk's here. <laughs> She's like, oh, they'd probably really like to go to the water. They probably would run away. Get out of the dirt. <laughs> Let her roll if she wants to roll. Roll on the grass so I don't have to clean you. And she's like, where's my family? Stormy. She's like, darn it, how'd I get back here? <laughs> oh, they're calling to her. Oh, oh. Just feel so lucky, oh, 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 still can't believe you love me here. <laughs> they took me to the beach, she says. Oh, look who came. Her mama. They all came, but look, her mama was first. And they're going to smell her. <laughs> And be like, what, what is, where were you? <laughs> Penny would probably love to go to the beach. <laughs> She's snotty now. I'm better than all of you guys. I, already, I went out. <laughs> I got off the property. And Gracie's like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Storm, come get a mask. Don't you know that you're beautiful?